Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with the long-awaited Teddy Bees pre-order. So this is the infamous Anesthesia <laughs> order that I've talked about for several months now. Um, long story short, she opened the pre-order um, the day I had my surgery back in April and she... She, she opens it all weekend, but I have a really bad way of forgetting and I was afraid with recovering and everything um, that I might miss out on it. And it was a really amazing pre-order. So luckily some of these things that I didn't get in bulk, I did wind up uh, scoring in D-stashes. So I will have some extras. I might do a D-stash haul because I did score a bunch of good stuff. Um... So yeah, I might do a D-stash haul when they all come in. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do about that. I am going to attempt the Raya ship Saturday. I always say I don't like her Raya ship because it is cutthroat. It is Hunger Games. Um, although the last time she did a Raya ship after the, um, it was after the January pre-order when she did the Raya ship, I got everything on my list. So I do have like my urgent list of two things I really, really, really want. And then I have a list of if I can get them, great. If I can't, I do have some on hand. So there's that. Um, so Teddy Bees has really crept up into uh, my top three. She is really inching up into my top vendor. Her stuff throws amazing. A little goes a long way. Um, the only reason I don't want to say she's not my top vendor is because I do like to have my top vendor be somebody who is, has openings all the time. And right now she's opening about every like eight or nine weeks. So for me, my top vendor, I would like to be able to order like at all times. So, But she is a very, very close second at this point. If she ever goes back to, because when I first started buying from her in 2019, she was a all the time open person. She had restocks, but she was open all the time. She had scent shots. She had clamshells. She had bags, all kinds of stuff. Um, and now she's gone to the pre-order system. Like a lot of vendors have stopped doing ready to ship and are only doing pre-orders. Um, a lot of it have, having to do with COVID and the... Um, just the ordering, shipping issues that have been happening, which I understand. <coughs> but at the same time, um, it is, it, I want to be able to get my hands on some stuff all the time and not just every two, three months. So there's that. Um, I will be keeping it out on the next pre-order. <laughs> I don't need to, but there are a few things that I do want to stock up on if they become available again. All right. So here is her card. I love the simplicity of it. And then she does have a Facebook group and this is all her information. So I did have three different orders. So my first order was, I, and I also did have two coupons. So she has a rewards points program where if you like you get points per dollar you spend, you get bonus points. If you spend over X amount of dollars in one transaction, you get points on your birthday, all kinds of stuff. So once your order ships, those points get added to your account. So I, I actually had, I think like 60, I had a 50 and a 10 and you can only use one per transaction. So I did have to do two orders just to use both coupons. Um, and so the first order was the big one. It was the everything that I knew I really needed. The second order was things that I wanted to try and just use that second coupon. And the third was, oh shit, the pre-order's ending and I need to, I need to get more of these things. Um, so I didn't get a lot of duplicates. There's only one thing here that I got two of. Um, and now, and I do regret that because there is some things I really wish I had gotten more of. Some things, like I said, I did score in D-stashes, so we'll go from there. So I did place three orders, so I did get three boxes. I got two samples in each order. I don't know if that's normal or not. So the first sample I have is milk and cookies, which is creamy vanilla, powdered sugar, sweet milk, buttery cookie dough. Now you guys are gonna wanna grab a snack, a drink, go to the bathroom, whatever, because this is gonna be quite a long video. So this is really nice. I always get scared of scents that say milk because I'm petrified it's gonna be that sour milk. I don't get any of that. I do get that buttery cookie dough. And it is just a nice, amazing, it, it just smells like a cookie dough scent to me. It is real good. So I'm excited to try that. 
The next one is Miami Vice. And this one, I don't remember off the top of my head, but I know it smells good. I did score a souffle in a D stash. I do want to try to get another or a chunk bag because this is so good. This smells like summer. All right, Spring Jubilee. I'm not sure the scent notes of this. I did get a bag of this, but I did de-stash it because I'm not a fan of it on cold. It's got peach in it, and her peach tends to be more on the sour side to my nose. So I kind of was eh about that. A Song of Ice and Fire, Cashmere Cream, Warm Fireside, and a Touch of Cool Peppermint. This reminds me of... Is it Winterfell? No, because that's Palo Santo. This kind of reminds me of a, a sister to like Winterfell. It is minty, but it's also smoky. All right, the next one is Pink Toast of Marshmallows, Pink Sugar Blended with Toast of Marshmallows. I did score a chunk bag of this in a D stash, which I was happy because I didn't get any in the pre-order. And I don't know why, because I love pink sugar and marshmallow. And the last sample of this one, you guys, I scored a loaf in a D-stash last night. And I about played the lottery because I was like so lucky to have grabbed it because everybody wanted it. The Queen's Dowry, strawberry pound cake, toasted marshmallows, pecan waffles. I have just inhaled the sample. This is going to be my go-to for fall. I'm so glad I have a loaf coming. I love this scent. So... I am so excited. I think I will do a de-stash haul when I get everything in because I did I did get quite a bit. All right, so first I'm going to do bags. I have a lot of bags. Okay. So the first one that I have is Off the Strip, which is berry sorbet, light coconut, soothing sandalwood, and warm musk. It's endless weekend and cactus blossom bath and fireworks types. I so regret not getting a loaf of this. I really need to, for scents, I think I'm going to like. I really need to just go ahead and bite the bullet and get a loaf. This is so good. I love Endless Weekend. It is one of my favorite body cares for Bath and Body Works. And that's majority what I get from this. I am going to attempt to get more of this um, in the Ray ship. I don't know. That one's a good one. All right. The next one I have is Khaleesi. And this is Palo Santo, Tonka Bean, Oud, War, Oud Wood, Warm Vanilla Sugar, and Fireside. This is like a smoky, gorgeous, like manly scent. This one is one I have to melt when Robert's home because otherwise he'll think I had a gentleman here. It is so cologne manly. It is a gorgeous scent. Very smoky. I really enjoy that. That oud wood gives it more of a cologne vibe to me. Anything, anytime that I melt anything that has like oud wood or like blue sugar, I have to melt when he's home because otherwise he's like, who'd you have over? And it's like, really dude? But that's really good. Really smoky, though. If you don't like that Fireside Palo Santo blend, you would not like that. Next is Winterfell, which is Marshmallow Fireside Palo Santo, White Birch, Icy Snow, and Vanilla. So this kind of has like a minty note to me. I don't know why. But right now I'm getting, excuse me, right now I'm getting a lot of the birch. And I'm not really a fan of the birch. So I'm hoping... The, that the um, Palo Santo Marshmallow Fireside come out more because right now I'm not really a fan of this. And I just melted a sample from 2019 of this and I fell in love and I was so excited that I had a bag of it. And right now I'm cold. I'm not really loving this bag. Um, I have a clamshell that smells more smoky. So I'm going to let that sit for a little while. But if that still smells birch, like birchy, I'm going to have to probably get rid of it because I can't do, I can't do a lot of that birch. All right, next is Snowflakes and Cozy Sweaters, which is Sweater Weather, Creamy Vanilla, and a Touch of Icy Mint. You guys, this is going to be my go-to for this winter. This, and look how huge these chunks are. This is Sweater Weather Happiness. If you like sweater weather and you can handle mint, I would get this. This is, it is so good. Her sweater weather is amazing. But that's going to be really my go-to this coming winter. You're going to probably see quite a bit of that. I'm hoping I can score some more on Saturday. Then I have Lovebirds, which is sugary lemon, citrus fruit, green floral notes, amber woods, a hint of vanilla. This is really good. So this is more on the feminine side. And the, the lemon, this is not like a cleaner lemon. It's not an in-your-face pledge type lemon. It's a nice, like, just citrusy lemon. I think it's that, le it's like the sugared lemon, so it's, 
you know, not as pungent on like the cleaner side. Next is Witches Be Crazy Birthday Cake Pecan Waffles Sugar Cookie Dough and a Pinch of Cinnamon Spice Vanilla. So this I was going to go ahead and de-stash and then I melted a sample of it and fell in love and decided I could not. <laughs> so I am so excited though. It is good. It is really good. So I get a lot of that pecan waffle. Um, this is going to be probably another go-to for fall whenever fall happens because God knows it doesn't happen very often here. Hot Girl Summer. This is the urgent, urgent thing I'm going to try to get Saturday in a loaf. It is crisp melon, island coconut, palm leaves, and a hint of beach nights. Um, there's no hint of beach nights. To me, that is in the forefront on this scent is the beach nights. Oh, but it's so good. Her beach nights is my favorite. But oh my God. Mixed with, I get a little bit of the melon. I get that, co that island coconut and I get that palm leaves. But it is very heavier on the beach nights. And so if I had known that it was going to be heavier on the beach nights, I would have gotten a loaf. And I'm really kicking myself in the ass for not getting a loaf. So I'm going to try. Like, I'm going to place an order. Like, I will pay extra shipping to get that in a loaf so I don't get cart jacked. Like, I will pay extra to get that by itself. And then, you know, go in and get the rest of my list if there's anything left. Like, that's how crazy I am about that scent. Next is Sweetie Pie, Sweet Strawberries, Vanilla, Frosted Cookies, and Strawberry Frosted Cake. I did get another chunk bag of this in a D-Stash. It came in on Monday. And this is good. This is strawberry cake goodness. It's really amazing. If you like strawberry bakery, um, God, I don't, I don't want to, <laughs> I hate talking about other vendors, um, on my videos, but I'm going to do it this time. This is very comparable to like L3's Pink Frosted Cake or um, Strawberry Jackio from VCS. But that is so good. That is like strawberry cakey goodness. Next is Shake the Sugar Tree, which is Cherry Marshmallow Meringue, Vanilla Bean, Spun Sugar, Hint of Sweet Lavender. This is another one I really regret not getting in a loaf. I was really scared though, but... I mean, you can cut these in three or four pieces. If you say you have to melt half of a chunk, I'm going to say that you are a liar. Because honestly, her stuff a little goes a long way. I can melt a third or a quarter of these chunks and have it exiting one room and trying to go into another. Like, her stuff is so strong. And this, I really... I was scared of the cherry. I was afraid it was going to be like um, Red Bandit. I do not like. I got a loaf in it and I had to de-stash it. That, the cherry and that was gross. But this is amazing. And so this is another one that I'd love to get more of. I, this one really goes fast when it's offered. So I don't see me getting more, but I'm going to try. The next one is Baby Lou. Sweet lavender cotton candy and vanilla cake pops. I did get a souffle in this in a de-stash that came in the same de-stash as Sweetie Pie. This is really good. So this is definitely a sweet lavender. I do get that cotton candy. I don't get any of like the cake pops, but when it melts, that might change. All right. Next is Cindy Lou Does Paris. It is Lulu Bell Sweet on Paris and Frosted Pine. Lulu Bell is like clothespins, dew drops, or something like that. I do have a loaf that has Lulu Bell in it. It's really good. And um, Sweet on Paris is like a blackberry sugared lemon type scent. It's really good. All right. Next is Silent Night. And this is Palo Santo Frosted Circus Cookies and Beach Nights. This I really should have gotten a loaf as well. I really need to just, just bite the bullet and get a loaf. Oh, this is so good. So this one, you get that Palo Santo, but the Beach Nights is pretty, pretty in there. Like that Beach Nights is very, her Beach Nights is very strong and very dominant. And I'm totally okay with that. All right, the next one is in at the crossroads, Palo Santo sweet sugar cookies with a hint of black cherry. This I did score a loaf of in a D-stash. I was so excited. My girl Kristen hooked me up. This is so good. I never thought I'd like the Palo Santo and Black Cherry combination, but it's good. Um, so I'm excited that I have that loaf coming also. So that was one I could cross off my list to try to get on Saturday because God knows I won't be able to get everything I want Saturday because you know her stuff goes fast. 
Although last, the last radio ship surprised me. I thought I was going to need like blood pressure medicine after, after, you know, before that happened. And then it was surprisingly smooth and her radio ships are usually a nightmare. Next is Cottontails, Juicy Hawaiian Punch Blended with Lavender and Laundry. So this one was another one I was really just eh about trying. I was afraid the, the Hawaiian Punch would be too like strong, but it blends very nicely with the laundry. It's nice. I really like this one a lot. All right. Now we finally get to the last chunk bag. Let's Cuddle, which is Sweet Lavender Bedtime Baby in Vanilla Lace. This one is one that I love. I've not melted it in a while. It is good. So you definitely get the Vanilla Lace. And I get a lot of that Bedtime Baby. All right, now on the loaves. I actually have more bags than loaves this time, and last time I had more loaves than bags. I did de-stash a few loaves. Um, they were ones that I just wasn't, I just didn't want. So I smelled them and was like, nope, <laughs> right from the beginning. So the first one I have is Lululemon, which is clothespins, dewberries, Meyer lemons, and a hint of vanilla mint. So that Lulu Bell is clothespins and dewberries, I'm assuming. And then the um, lemon part is the Meyer lemons. And I don't know if the vanilla mint is in Lulubel or just this Lululemon. But this is really good. This is just like a lemon laundry, which I love. So I am excited to have that. All right. I did get the Hamptons, which is watermelon lemonade, salty Sierra crisp linen. I'm sorry, I know y'all hate crinkling. This is really good. So this is heavier like on that watermelon lemonade. But I definitely get the linen and I get a hint of like a salty sea air. So that's really nice. All right, the next one, I love this one. I'm gonna love this all fall long. Blueberry cheesecake waffles, blueberries, creamy cheesecake, butter pecan waffles, and maple syrup. So I've had bags of this before. I absolutely love this scent. It is so good. It is, it's just, it's blueberry, it's blueberry waffles. It reminds me of maple blueberry pancakes from Bath and Body Works, but I know it's not. Um, but it reminds me of that. It's just got that blueberry waffle blend. Um, so that's one you're going to see a lot come fall. All right. The next one I got is blueberry vanilla circus cookies. This is blueberries, vanilla, and sugar crystals blended with our frosted circus sugar cookies. This one I really like also. I love her blueberry. And this is really really good that that uh vanilla makes it a little bit on the like the sweeter side next is sweet dream birthday cake lavender cream orange sherbet and birthday cake you guys have seen this i've had a chunk bag of this i've been hoarding and then i finally can finish it oh, so good so this is very this is heavier on that orange sherbet i get the lavender um, on warm, I get all three. The birthday cake just tones that sherbet down. So it's not like a citrus blend. It's more of a bedtime blend. It's gorgeous. I've, a lot of vendors have done those um, uh, lavender with the orange before mixed. And it's good. All right. Next is Frosted Lemon Circus Cookies. Which is sweet and tart lemon curd blended with lemon buttercream and frosted circus cookies. This one's good. Robert loves all things lemon. I knew he'd love this, although he had an absolute fit. He said to me, "So I'm gonna I'm gonna pause for for a minute and and do a little story time." So, long story short, the day I had surgery, I had so I knew Teddy Bees was opening. Like I was coherent enough, I knew Teddy Bees was opening. So the type of anesthesia they gave me, it was a general anesthesia, but it was the type that wore off. He said it would wear off within an hour of them last administering it to me. So like, I was worried because we had an early flight the next morning because we went to Louisiana for the surgery and then we went back home the next day. So we flew home the next day and 
we like my surgery was like late they had a long morning there was a late start so i was i i, I had to get there at the surgery center at 9 30 they didn't take me back till 10 30 and they didn't even take me back for surgery like that was just to prep and they didn't take me back for surgery till afternoon so like i woke up and it was already like four o'clock uh, by the time everything was said and done um and we had to be up at like 2.30 in the morning to drive back to New Orleans to get our flight. So I asked the anesthesiologist, I said, how long am I going to be like loopy? And he said, once we stop administering the anesthesia, it's out of your system within one hour. And later, and it was like within an hour, I was back to feeling coherent and normal. But in that state, I was like, while I was still in and out was when I was ordering and um, I remember I had three things I had to do before I was released. I had to pee, I had to hold down solid food, and I had to have my pain managed. And so they, of course, wanted me to go to the bathroom, and I didn't want to. Like, I, I, it was, it's a bikini cut incision. Um, they actually went over my C-section incision with this cut. And so if any of you have had that type of incision, you know it is rough walking right after. So they had me... <laughs> They had me get up and I kind of sat at the edge of the bed and I was still playing on my phone ordering like one of my orders and Robert goes, what are you doing? And I said, I'm ordering teddy bees and he goes, fuck teddy bees. Let's get this. He wanted to go back to the hotel so badly. He did not want to be there anymore. We had been there all damn day. And so I said, I'm comfortable sitting here for a while. And the nurse looked at him and goes, don't force her. It's very painful, blah, blah, blah. But he was like, really? You're ordering wax right now? I said, I have to get my pre-order in. He And I, he goes, did somebody give you extra anesthesia? And I said, no. I said, I have to get my order. And I was like in tears almost. I was like, I got to get my order in. And he's like, really? And so, yeah, he was not very happy with me <laughs> that day because <laughs> that was kind of... It was in my mind, oh my God, Tabies is ordering on surgery or is opening on surgery day. I can't miss this one. It's an epic pre-order. And sure enough, I didn't. <laughs> All right. Next is lavender honeydew, which is lavender co vanilla coconut milk, honeydew melons, and fresh linen. You guys had seen this. I had a um a clamshell of this. And I hoarded my last couple pieces and finally I melted them. I knew eventually she would have this again. So this is straight up lavender and honeydew um it is pretty comparable again i hate talking about other vendors it's pretty comparable to alice in slumberland from rose girls but it does have the vanilla coconut milk and the linen which does make it one step up it makes it a little bit better in my opinion i do really enjoy that scent and i'm glad that i have a whole loaf because a loaf will last me a long time if it's a bedroom scent because i only melt bedroom scents and one warmer once a day. So it's not like I have four warmers going 24 seven, but I only melt lavender or bedtime scents in that one. So like a chunk bag will last me forever. A loaf will last me forever. So I was very cautious how much I bought that was bedtime because I don't put it throughout the house. I could, but I don't, um, you know, I do everything else throughout the house. All right, next is Summer Circus Cookies, which is strawberry pound cake blended with frosted lemon circus cookies. So this I thought was gonna be amazing. I love her strawberry pound cake and I absolutely love uh, her lemon. And this is absolutely amazing. It was funny because Frankie texted me and she goes, are we doing the raid a ship? And I said, yeah, I said, I'm gonna try. And she goes, well, hell, so am I. <laughs> And I told her, I said, you know, Teddy Bees is really creeping up there. She, you know, she is a very close second. Um, she would be my number one vendor if she had better availability. You know, I hate having to order so much at once, only three times a year. Whereas I would like to be able to order, say, once a month or, you know, twice a month or whatever. Um, instead of doing such a big order. Because right now she's only open, I think it's every nine weeks she opens, which is almost three months. It's two and a half months in between. Um, so, I mean, realistically, and that's just for the Ray ship, her next pre-order is usually two or three weeks after the last one gets shipped. So realistically, she's only open about every 12 weeks, which is every three months. So it is what it is. All right. Next is sweetheart cookies, which is pink sugar, frosted sugar, cookies, shortbread, birthday cake, sweet milk. I really like this one. I had a sample of it a long time ago. And I love it. It's amazing. I'm cold. It is very light. But once it uh, appears a little bit longer and it warms up, it's beautiful. 
All right, I got two cents left here. Um, Surfside Sweet Shop, you guys have seen this a lot in my weekly melts. It is birthday cake, marshmallow cream, butter cookies, cake batter, and beach treats, which is beach nights. It is beautiful. It's bakery beach nights goodness. Um, I do have another, I believe I have another loaf here in the bedroom. Plus I have that partial chunk tab because I have this. So I am definitely good on this scent for quite a while. And last but definitely not least, my absolute favorite scent from her. I did get two. This is the only thing I got multiples of. Sundresses and lemonade, fresh ozone and air, roses, jasmine, lavender, vanilla, melon, sugared lemon with a fizzy twist. So I said, okay, I got two coming. And so I did de-stash one because I had a whole loaf here. I had a chunk bag, a clamshell. And I said, okay, I have two loaves coming. I'm good. This is pretty nostalgic for me. I don't know why but it smells like something that's very familiar and very comforting for me. So yeah, I really enjoy that scent. So that is everything. I'm surprised it only made 26 minutes. I even did some rambling, so I'm pretty surprised. All right, so that is everything for this video. I will talk to you later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.